every organization or institution that knows its worth or its salt understands that you need to plan ahead for crisis. Now, in planning ahead for crisis, these speeches on, you know, talking tough and all of that comes pre-crisis. Letting the uh, FCT people know, for instance, a resident that there are no rooms to accommodate any of all of this. That plan was not seen. Now, beyond, then after, when the crisis now happens, in planning for crisis, you've already outlined how to manage crisis. So if the crisis finally happens, you don't need to start giving speeches and running around. You basically implement act, act, action plans that you have already mapped out for a given crisis. We have young girls, little girls and their parents abducted in Abuja. We have about 176 persons in this Buari and other council areas in the FCT. Look, we don't have idea where they are they coming out or not. There is need to give the said bandit 700 million to release the seven of them that have been identified so far. People have been killed. Two girls amongst them have been killed. Is this speech what we expect from the FCT minister at this point? All these pre-crisis movements that is making right now, or is this what we expect? Or how much of this can mean anything to anyone whose family is in crisis mode right now? I think, with respect to the kidnapping and abductions. I think that, you know, we're, we're not serious as a nation. And I and, and say this with all sense of responsibility. Um, what we heard over the news about the kidnap is not the first that's happening. In fact, if you spend a week in Abuja, people will tell you Abuja is not safe. The residents in Abuja, if you have a relative and then you go to visit, you know, no matter how you know beautiful the city may look, which I, I, I don't think it is, you know, but no matter how beautiful it is, Abuja is almost like a glorified city, you know, compared to the capitals of several other countries in the world. Uh, but no matter how beautiful the city looks, everybody who cares will tell you, look, you've got to be careful. Uh, because this place is not safe. You know, I've had those experiences several times. And, um, you know, what we're hearing in the news is just 0.005% of what is happening daily in Abuja. And um, for that to be happening in a place where we call the federal capital territory of this country, um, a country that we say is the giant of Africa, I think that we are not serious. Uh, we still operate this primordial security architecture. And I had thought that being the federal capital territory, where you have the IG of the police, you have um, all of the security chiefs accommodated. You have the president of this country also accommodated. I expect that the security architecture in the federal capital territory will be sophisticated. You know, but from what we are seeing, there's no difference between the um, operations of our security um, in the FCT, and what happens in the village? Mm. How is it that people would be kidnapped and there's a communication that they need um, ransom for them to be released and two of those children are killed and the security agencies cannot tell how the calls were made, cannot tell how these bodies were deposited, where, they were, where the killings were carried out, where these persons are, within the Abuja and its environs. And then we come to give the usual rhetorics that we will not abandon. We're going to do our best, you know, and we start making threats. And then we extend the failures to the local government chairman. Then the local government chairmen are, are traveling abroad. They are not doing their job. I mean, you know, this is total failure. I am not inspired by these speeches. I, I don't see anything new. There is no hope that is renewed in this kind of a statement because it's the usual statement. And this sounds like what we say in our village, you know, our rural areas where you would say, you know, we are far from security, having security. Now, how can the federal capital territory, how can we still be talking about this? Up till now, the, the, the police cannot trace where these persons are. We, I mean, something can just happen and then we start running health as data saying the same that i think that we have failed and we're no. creating a very very primordial security architecture 